Hi, I'm Charlene, and well, today in Charlene's Native American Kitchen Help Talk. Well, like yesterday, we were talking about things to help anemia, and one of those things is actually, you know, nuts, and nuts are also good for energy, and one of my favorites is cashews. I just picked these up from Trader Joe's, uh, not Trader Joe's, from Wawa. Yummy. You can get these unsalted, um, even though, yes, I said I don't like salted. These don't have that much on them. Seriously. I always check this, the salt on these. These are not heavily salted. Like I said before, Wawa is not a sponsor. No, no, no wish they were. They're great. They are a great company. Like I said, I don't go to store one. Um, I go to the newer one down here at the bottom of the hill. Um, so, I did get a smoothie today from there. Only I only like really like a couple of people to make my smoothies there, to tell you the truth. But they do have good staff there, and um, when I want an energy booster, cashews are the way to go. Cashews, fruit, um, any kind of peanut, really, unless you have an allergy to hazelnut, like myself, I have a hazelnut allergy. Now, you can actually have an allergy to one specific nut in 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 the uh, in that and it could actually be a seed rather than a nut even though it's classified as a nut instead of a seed um, once these drop to the ground they're actually considered to be a seed and it actually grows another plant so in other words they are actually a seed it's a science. So eat your... And not the other kind. No. No, I'm not talking about the manly kind. Check. Talking about the edible ones. Um, <laughs> coffee is a seed. Even though they call it a bean... Coffee is a seed, um, but it's a caffeinated seed that has iron in it. Give yourself, if, if you have two hearts like I do, okay, two fully functional hearts. I have anemia. I have epilepsy. I have a thyroid disorder. Uh, epilepsy, like I said, is a neurological disorder where the neurons in your brain do not fire correctly. Okay, uh, anemia. So you guys thought I was going to say, um, no, and I said, uh, anemia. <laughs> right? Anemia is an autoimmune disorder, such as Thyroid disorder is an autoimmune disorder because your autoimmune system is not able to protect your body correctly. Uh, and therefore, you actually have to rebalance it. You don't necessarily with, with anemia have to take pills. No, you don't. No, you don't. Just really correct that with diet. I know a lot of college students will be like munching on peanuts, not realizing they're getting a certain balance of iron with that. Don't just eat peanuts, please. You can't just eat peanuts. You have to eat and, and I, I will do this later on with certain rice 
teach you how to make certain rice dishes. I was taught by a Chinese couple how to make sticky rice for sushi and other Chinese dishes. Uh, would I recommend going to Iron Chef Morimoto's restaurant in Philadelphia? No, it's not in Chinatown. He's Japanese. If you have the money, yes, go there. I will tell you it is expensive. That's why I haven't been there yet. I will go someday when I have the money. I hear it's excellent. So Iron Chef Morimoto, one day I will go to your restaurant. Um, fish proteins are very good for the autoimmune system. The omegas are very good for helping to build up the autoimmune system, such as salmon, trout. I'm not really a big fan of tilapia. A lot of people do not know how to cook tilapia. You can't just leave the salt alone, people. Just leave the salt alone. Just, that ruins it. Just, no. You can smoke fish. You have to know how to do it correctly. I, I, I grew up catching fresh salmon, fresh trout, and I mean rainbow trout, okay, cooking it on an open fire. That's the best. That is the best you could ever eat. Okay, yes, you got to clean the guts out. You got to rinse it. You know, if you're going camping, okay, yeah, take some bottled waters with you. Yeah, you always, you're going to see me with this. I'm flushing my pancreas. Always flushing my pancreas. You don't want to get diabetes. You don't want to even get borderline diabetes. I had gestational diabetes with three of my children. It can go away if you know how to regulate your diet. Uh, you can get diabetes at any point in your life. It doesn't matter if you think, oh my God, I'm the healthiest person in the world. Okay, boom, one day you're diabetic. You go to the doctor, they're like, well, we hate to break the news to you, but you're diabetic. It doesn't matter, you know, how much weight you lost, how you change your diet, you know, You have to watch what you put in your body. You have to. I had to force myself to a cleaner diet. Once you get that mindset to donuts are not good for your body, that I mindset myself to that. If I eat that donut, I'm going to get sick. If, if I eat certain things, I'm going to get sick. So I mindset myself to that. If I eat that, I'm going to get sick. If I drink that, I'm going to get sick. Boom, my weight came off. All it took was programming your mind to saying no to the junk. Yes to the healthy and readjusting your body accordingly to keep yourself healthy. And like I was saying, eat things that you would not think that has iron in it. Um, maybe you should go to your doctor, get your thyroid checked, ask them to check your levels between your T3 Excuse me, I, I, I burped cashews. For some reason it tasted like beer. I hate beer. Yeah. Anyway, ask them to check your T3 levels to your T6 
levels. Now, if you don't ask them this, they will not do it. They will not do it. You have to request this. Now, if one of those levels are off by a margin, then you have to take thyroid medication. But you also have to adjust your diet accordingly. You can't just be out there eating junk food. You, you just can't because that's going to keep you from being anemic. It's going to keep you from being anemic. It's also going to keep you from having fatty liver disease. You don't have to be somebody that drinks to have fatty liver disease. You don't have to be somebody that indulges themselves on sweets all the time to be a diabetic. Your thyroid can make that happen. So I want to make this very aware to people. As a thyroid patient myself, that is the absolute thermostat to your body. I mean, yes, I have arthritis. I admit that. I have it in my knee, my right knee. I've had two surgeries on that knee. The second one was to correct the botched up first one. I have a really nasty scar from the first one. Later on in another episode I will show you guys that but right now today is health talk um I've had to readjust some of my clothes for losing weight just recently and um but I know that I can always take my seam ripper and rip out the seams from tailoring my clothes but um it's like I had to tailor uh, an undergarment, but it fits. Um, I have to tailor some of my shirts, but that's because I have readjusted my diet. Well, my doctor told me, oh, you have fatty liver disease. Do you, are you sure you don't drink? And I'm like, uh, the last time I touched alcohol it was one drink and that was uh thanksgiving one drink one and uh yeah just one and it was a small glass so see i'm not a drinker I don't like alcohol really. I prefer to cook with it rather than drink it. But when you cook with alcohol, you actually change the chemical composition. You actually cook it out, but leave the flavor. Yes, you actually leave the flavor in by cooking out the chemical composition of the alcohol base itself. So see, you have to know the science behind everything. You really do. You have to know the science behind medical. And like I said in the other video, when I was a teenager, I used to babysit children with all sorts of medical conditions because these military parents, they couldn't find anybody to take care of their children if they wanted to go do something. I was like, hey, I'll do it. I don't care. Just t tell me what's wrong with them, what needs to be done in case of an emergency. I'll do it. Those children were so sad when I had to leave and go to the next military base. When I lived in Norfolk, Virginia, all those little kids lined up and cried their eyes out. They were like, you can't leave us, you can't leave us. Who's going to be our new babysitter? Nobody wants to take care of us except for you. Because you know what to do in case of an emergency. I was like, I don't know what to tell you, but I have to leave. So, you have to know how to take care of yourself. 
be serious about your health. Because if you don't take care of yourself, the Grim Reaper will come for you. And there's more to life than what people think. There's, life is too short to not think about your health. So, let's take care of what we have in the now so that we have more to look forward to in the future. So, look forward to the revamps and look forward to more health talk and as soon as the weather cools down a little bit, it's 92 degrees out there today. It's supposed to be 94 tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'm inside cool air. Yes, the eagle painting is right there behind me. Anyway, <laughs> yes, it is right there. I promise. Um, pretty soon... Uh, I will be doing another painting pretty soon. It won't be an eagle. Um, it'll be of Adam West. Bless him for his talent. Um, and he hid his leukemia. But see, that's what I'm saying. People have got to take care of themselves. The man was 88 years old. He lived a long life and bless him for all of his talent that he gave to the world. Um, so yeah, stay strong and I will see all of my people soon. Go ahead and comment for some reason. YouTube's making it so that I cannot comment back. I don't know why. They're marking some people that are commenting as spam. Please understand, YouTube is doing that, not me. Um, yeah, I don't know why. If people have legitimate channels, so go ahead and just subscribe to me, and then maybe I'll be able to comment back. So, it's YouTube out there, their thing again. So, um... Also, with that said, yeah, just go ahead and subscribe to me, so maybe I'll be able to uh, comment back to you. So, uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and like I said, eat the healthier stuff so that we can all see each other longer on YouTube and, or, and in the world. And stay positive, stay happy. And of all things, stay healthy.